tutorial you're going to learn about building custom Gutenberg blocks using ACF plugin which is advanced custom field plugin believe it or not I learned building custom blocks the hard way until I knew what's possible using ACF plugin now in this tutorial especially it's going to be for PHP developers so as you are aware that block development could be challenging for a lot of us especially for PHP developers who have minimal JavaScript knowledge. There is a learning curve, which means that you need to learn JavaScript, React, you need to have a basic knowledge of those in order for you to build the custom blocks. However, advanced custom fields have this amazing feature in their pro plugin, wherein you just have to call a function and then you have a template where you can write all of your code and you don't have to worry about writing any JavaScript. So let me show you. I have the advanced custom field pro plugin installed. So this is the plugin you need to have. You need to have the version number 5.8 or later in order for this to work. So if you worked with advanced custom fields, you're already aware that uh, you can create different field groups. So it allows you to create different meta boxes where you can fill in all of your information. You don't have to write a code for that. You can just create a new one. So I've created some of the fields like testimonial, author, role, image background color and text color and the best part is that when I go over here in my post and if I try to create a new one I have created a block uh, called testimonial block and all of these fields are available right here so I can just write this is my testimonial author name Imran Sayed role author I can select an image from here I can also give a background color. Let's say I want to give a background color of black. So you can see it's changing. And I want to give a text color of white. So let's put that. And you can see the text color is changed. Of course, it doesn't look very good because I have to style it. But yes, you can see that how simple it is, right? If you click on it, you can toggle between the fields and the preview. Okay, so this is the preview version and this is the fields. And if I just publish it and then if I try to view it in the front end, you would notice that it looks exactly the same. Isn't that amazing? Awesome. So now, first of all, we're going to learn how to go ahead and write a couple of basic codes to create this. And then we're going to dive deeper uh, to understand how things work behind the scenes. Okay, so we're going to build this block together. So let's begin then. The first thing you need to do is install the Advanced Custom Fields Pro plugin version 5.8 or later. The latest version is 5.8.3 and activate it. Once you've activated that, you can go on to the Custom Fields section and you can add a new field from here. And let's name this field group as Testimonials. And we're going to add some fields. So let's say I add Testimonial, hit enter. The next field will be author and then the next field will be role. The next one will be image and this will be image and then the background color, background color and then text color. Awesome. So we've got all of the field going here. And last but not the least, you just need to come over here in the custom fields and just edit it. And here in the location, you will have a new uh, field which is called block. You just need to select that and then select the uh, block name that we have just created, which is testimonials and just update it. And now if there's a pretty extensive documentation available on advanced custom fields so if you go to the site advancedcustomfield.com and you click on documentation and look for this function which is ACF register block type this is a function which will allow you to register the block using PHP okay so let's follow this so what we're going to do is we'll just take a help of this code now you can put this code into your functions.php if you are doing a theme development uh, but I prefer to do it through a plugin. So I want to keep my block development functionality separate. So all I've done is just created a directory called ACF Gutenblocks. 
and currently I only have two files in, inside of this. The first one is your main plugin file, uh, which just contains the plugin header, the plugin name, URI, description, author, and so on. And then it just have one constant, which gives me the absolute path up until the block temple, template directory, which I've created. Inside of this, we are going to keep our templates, which will render the content for our block. And then I've created a simple class file where I've defined a class called ACFW register block. The job of this is to register the block. Okay, and then I've just instantiated it here. And then eventually I've just included this file into my main plugin file. Okay, so we're going to get this, these codes. The first thing they ask you to do is go ahead and define a function called my register blocks. You can name it whatever you want. So let's name it as function just register blocks because we are inside of the class so we don't have to worry about the namespacing here okay and inside of this you just need to check if this function exists because this is the function which is responsible for registering the block okay so if you go on top you can see that this is the function which actually helps you register the block with php through php and it takes settings. So settings is basically an array of arguments, which is an array of these fields. So what they're saying is that any argument from the JavaScript register block type function may be used here. Okay. Uh, the only difference is that the name property uh, that you see in the block description, which is right here as the first parameter will actually be inside of the array in the settings. So let's see the code that we want to use. So the first thing we will do is we will go ahead and now all you have to do is just check if this function exists before calling this function. So we'll do if function exists, then just call this function and it takes settings, which is basically an array. The first thing it takes is the name, which is a unique name for the block. If you are a JavaScript developer and if you have developed the block uh, using register block type, which is a JavaScript function that Gutenberg provides, then you must have observed that we can use the unique name, but you have to prefix it with the namespace. But here you don't have to prefix it with the namespace. You can just use the name of the block, unique name of the block. Okay. The next thing you need to do is just put the title. So use the title. Okay. And then this is a translation function to translate it. And we are naming our block as testimonials. Then you have description. So this will be the description of the block. When you select the block, this is the name of the block that you can easily find it. Then you have the render template. So render template will allow you to display the content inside of the block. So whatever content you put inside of the render template file, that content will be displayed when you select the block. So you have an option, you have two choices. The first is that you can use the relative path within the active theme. So currently we are not in a theme, we are inside of a plugin, but I will always suggest to use an absolute path in case of, if someone moves the file, it's always best to use the absolute path. We already created a constant called ACFB block template path, which gives us the absolute path up until the block templates directory. So we can just use that and just append the block template file. So this will be the absolute path up until testimonial.php. So let's create one. This is where we are going to put the content for a block. So testimonial.php. Here you go. So you've got that. Okay. And then the next thing is the category. So there are different categories that are available. Uh, when you go over here inside add new, and if you select a block, you have different categories available like common formatting, layout, widget. So you can put the name where you want your block to show. So let's say I want to show in formatting. So I'll just put formatting over here. Okay. Brilliant. So that's all you have to do to register block. Okay. Once you've done that, then all you have to do is just hook it to the init hook. Okay. So you will do add action inside of the construct method and you need to hook it to ACF init hook. And we know that in a class, if I want to call a function, then I have to use this and the name of the function. So register block. Okay. And then on this hook, this function is registered. So when the script reaches this hook, then this method will be called and a block will be registered. Then the next thing we need is just to put the content inside of our template. 
so that it can be shown inside of the block okay so we're just going to use the code that's mentioned here rather than writing them on our own this is just an example of course depending on your requirement then you can write your own code now over here in the WP get attachment image you just need to put ID over here okay because if you check it requires the attachment ID okay and now if you come over here all you have to do is just select the block and you've guessed it right it would be available inside of formatting because that's the category we chose in our code formatting that's the category okay so you can see we have testimonial you can also search it over here select it there you go you already have these uh, placeholders text mentioned over here you can just put the testimony information and all of these fields are the same fields that we had created using the custom fields isn't that amazing and simple you don't have to write any JavaScript and you have all of the fields displaying over here and I can start typing immediately this is my first block using ACF and you can see that it's changing right here and I can put my name Imran Sayyad and you can see it's changed role author okay and you can select an image and the moment you select it you can see it's here I can give a background color let's go with black and the text color let's go with white of course it doesn't look that great because I have to style it but you get the idea you are able to create a block without having to write any JavaScript using AC app isn't that amazing awesome let's just update it and then you're going to do view post and there you go you've got your block rendered exactly the same on the front end as it is on the editor so guys you did observe how simple and easy it was to develop a block using ACF or even if you had just basic knowledge of JavaScript so in the next video we're going to go into the detail of it and I'm also going to explain to you as to what's going on inside of this testimonial.php okay so we're going to go in depth in the next video and if you did like my video please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel see you in the next video take care bye bye